హైదరాబాద్ కర్ణాటక ఈజ్ అ హోలీ అండ్ రిచ్ ల్యాండ్ రూల్డ్ బై రాష్ట్ర కోటాస్ చాలుక్యాస్ విజయనగర బహమని అండ్ సుర్పుర డైనాస్టీస్ లేటర్ ఇట్ వాజ్ అండర్ హైదరాబాద్ నైజాం రూల్ ఇన్డైరెక్ట్లీ కంట్రోల్డ్ బై బ్రిటిష్ ఎంపైర్ ద ఫోర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ రీజన్ నేమ్లీ బీదర్ గుల్బర్గా రైచూర్ అండ్ కొప్పలా వర్ అండర్ ద హైదరాబాద్ నైజాంస్ రూల్ సో ఈవన్ టుడే దిస్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ కర్ణాటక ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ హైదరాబాద్ కర్ణాటక ఇట్ గాట్ లిబరేటెడ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద బ్రిటిష్ రూల్ థర్టీన్ మంత్స్ లేటర్ బై ద స్ట్రాంగ్ కమిటెడ్ ఎఫర్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐఎన్ మ్యాన్ ద ఫస్ట్ హోమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా సర్దార్ వల్లభాయ్ పటేల్ ఆన్ సెవెంటీన్ సెప్టెంబర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ later in the year 1956 after straight reorganization it becomes the part and parcel of the whole karnataka to attain overall development any country needs inherent qualities of adventure and supreme sacrifices of country needs to come up patriotism self respect for its water land language culture and heritage achievements of its ancestors art architecture literature spirituality and honor for nation will help for overall development since independence many sincere efforts were made but achievements are not to the expected level so it's a curse to forcibly accept that we are backward or say it's a backward area our absolute goal is to eradicate this inhuman title that's why we undertook a project called hyderabad karnataka abhivruddhi vibhaga which is a brain child of sri basavraj patil sedam ex mlc karnataka and ex mp of gulbarga constituency he is also the president of Shri Kottala Basaveshwara Bharatiya Shikshana Samiti Sedam which is a parental organization to all the activities carried by us and institutions run by us tourism promotion is one among the 26 departments of Hyderabad Karnataka Abhivruddhi Vibhaga a philanthropic project Shri Basavraj Patil Sedam is the chief coordinator of the project and this tourist promotion is his vision this audio visual documentary is written and directed by the chief of the tourism promotion wing dr vasudev agnihotri sedam and his team the very purpose of this documentary film is to create awareness among the people of karnataka in general and hyderabad karnataka area in particular and to inspire them to visit the important tourist destinations of hyderabad karnataka and thereby promote tourism in this area through this we want to change the attitude and mindset of the people and boost the level of confidence among the students and realize that how rich our heritage is kopala district the wonderful journey of hyderabad karnataka begins with kopala district It was in undivided Raichur district till 1997 towards north from south of Kopala district we first visit Kishkinda let's see most courageous great disciple of lord sri rama when among the seven chiranjeevis veer hanuman took birth in the sacred place of Kishkinda this place is also known as anjanadri various incidents of epic ramayana like sundarakanda war between vali and sugriva meeting of lord rama with hanuman happened here even today there is a temple where the statue of mata anjana devi mother of hanuman and young hanuman are existing one has to climb around 600 steps to reach this wonderful and adventurous place The natural beauty around the Kishkinde is magnificent. World Heritage Monument Hampi can also be seen from here on either side of the Holy River Tunga. Mm-hmm. 
Kuknur. Kuknur is a village situated 20 kilometers from Elburga Taluk headquarter. A beautiful Navakota temple is existing in Kuknur. Jeshta Devi or Mahamayi is the chief deity of this destination. It has got a great historical significance. Inside the temple, one of the three sanctums was constructed by son of Chhatrapati Shivaji, who stayed there for three nights. The place Kuknur. ignited the fire of freedom moment among the people in hyderabad karnataka navavrundavanam after the boating of 1 km from ane gundi we reached the most peaceful and spiritual place navavrundavanam as the name suggests this is the place where vrundavanams of nine dwaita scholarly saints are existing including the direct disciple of shri madhvacharya that is shri padmanabha teertha navavrundavanam is a divine island of enchanting spiritual philosophy and peace for the last 500 years this place has inspired immense spirituality among the people of this area throughout the year thousands of people visit this destination and worship come and have a great experience in this destination pampa sarovara kula devata of vijayanagara kingdom devi vijayalakshmi temple is existing in anegundi in front of the temple a big ancient lake called pampa sarovara is situated it is an attractive spot for the tourists especially the white lotus flowers inside the lake are most beautiful and gives a new experience to visitors International tourist inflow is more to this destination. It is considered to be the Manasa Sarovara of Hyderabad Karnataka region. It is a divine lake dating back to the period of Ramayana. Pura Pura is a small village 15 kilometers from Kushtgi taluk headquarter Lord Shiva temple is situated here with 1 crore shivalingas yes literally 1 crore shivalingas are here at the first sight it is highly impossible to say that this temple is man made in other words the temple is such a huge and large monument One crore shivalingas with different size structure are existing in this temple. This temple was constructed during Vijayanagara period. It is really a spectacular place with different architectural structures. There are four wells and big space in the temple. Shivalingas and other statues have fully covered the whole temple and there is no more space for any other statue. It is one of the wonders of Hyderabad Karnataka area. Kanakagiri Nawab Udchanaik a local ruler with the grace of Sri Krishna Devaraya of Vijayanagar kingdom constructed a big temple of Lord Narsimha in Kanakagiri this temple is filled with wonderful and great architecture well sculptured pillars towers and big statue of Hanuman in standing posture outside the temple are the key attractions of the temple one has to see Kanakagiri at least once in lifetime many foreign tourists visit this temple and appreciate the temple there is an underground beautiful temple in kanakagiri itgi this is a national monument protected by archaeological survey of india situated in elburga taluk of koppala district it is popularly known as emperor of temples an army leader 
Mahadeva of ஆஃப் கிங் சிக்ஸ் விக்ரமாதித்ய கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டட் திஸ் டெம்பிள் டியூரிங் இலெவன்த் சென்ச்சுரி இன் சாலுக்கியன் ஸ்டைல் ஆஃப் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் வண்ட்ருஃபுல்லி காவ்ட் பில்லர்ஸ் சாங்டம்ஸ் ஸ்டாச்சூஸ் ஆர் ஹியர் திஸ் டெம்பிள் இஸ் ரியலி அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் பீஸ் ஆஃப் சாலுக்கியன் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் பேலூர் அண்ட் ஹலேபீடு ஆஃப் ஹைதராபாத் கர்நாடகா ரீஜன் தேர் ஆர் செவரல் அதர் டூரிஸ்ட் டெஸ்டினேஷன்ஸ் இன் கொப்பளா டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் லைக் கவிமாதா பால்கி குண்டு அண்ட் முனிராபாத் டேம் மாத்னூர் ஹுலுகி அனைகுண்டி இஸ் அ பிளேஸ் வேர் வீ கேன் சி மெனி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பிளேசஸ் லைக் பர்த் பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் எம்பரர் கிருஷ்ணதேவராயா துர்கா ஹில் ரங்கநாத டெம்பிள் எக்ஸெட்ரா கொப்பளா டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் இஸ் ஃபேமஸ் ஃபார் போமகிரானேட் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் அனார் டாய்ஸ் ஆஃப் கின்னாளா ஜெயின் டெம்பிள்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃப்ரீடம் ஃபைட்டர்ஸ் லைக் முண்டர்கி பீமராயா ரங்கராவ் தேசாய் ஸோ கொப்பளா டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் இஸ் அண்ட் ஏன்ஷியன்ட் பாப்புலர் அண்ட் பியூட்டிஃபுல் டெஸ்டினேஷன் வர்தி ஆஃப் விசிட்டிங் Now we are heading towards Raichur district. This is a district of fairs and festivals. Two rivers namely the Bhima and the Krishna form the boundaries of this district. This is an important place for Haridasa literature. This is also a rice bowl of Hyderabad Karnataka region. Chikal Parvi Memorial of Shri Vijay Dasaru is here with spiritual and divine power This is a place of Shri Vijay Dasaru who enlightened us by knowledge and music Two and a half century old Narasimha Swami temple and Saligrama are there at Chikal Parvi even today it's a popular belief that Shri Vijay Dasaru is an incarnation of Bhrugu Maharshi. Shri Vijay Dasaru played pivotal role in the development of Haridasa literature. He was the leader of second generation Haridasas. He has written about 25,000 Kirtanas and Suladis. Shri Vijay Dasaru is popularly known as Suladi Dasa. Manvi. Manvi is is a taluka headquarter in Raichur district. Dvaita scholar, a poet and a philosopher, Sri Jagannatha Dasa's residence and a Hanuman temple are situated here. Sri Jagannatha Dasa had written a spiritual epic in Kannada by name Harikatamruta Sara in this sacred place. The verses of the book are sculptured on the walls inside the temple. Mudgal Fort This Mudgal Fort is a protected monument. It is located 15 km from Lingasugur Taluka headquarters. This fort was built during the period of Vijayanagara kings. Even today, this fort is a pride of Hyderabad Karnataka region, Raichur. Now we are entering the city of Raichur. This is the thermal power station. near the Raichur city which provides electricity for North Karnataka area. This Nandishwara temple is situated in the heart of the city. It's a wonderful picnic spot. It is on the bank of a lake. Several statues and structures are here. The importance of the temple is Navagraha statues and trees relating to each planet. Boating is a special attraction too. Muskie 
The most ancient and historical place Maske is situated in Lingasugur Taluk. An inscription of King Ashoka the Great is protected by Archaeological Survey of India. It is a great national monument and the most important one too because in this inscription Ashoka's fame Devanam Priya was highlighted. It is the only inscription in which he is named so. This is a place of cultural and historical significance. There are many other important destinations like Jaladurga, Narada Gadde, Sajjalagudda, Google, Koppara, Gudagunti, Hatti Gold Mines, Kalluru and Yaradona. Gulbarga district. Now we are entering the divisional headquarter of Hyderabad, Karnataka, that is Gulbarga. This is the largest district in Karnataka in area with 10 talukas. The district has a lot of achievements in the field of academics, education and literature. This district is richly endowed with natural resources like limestones. It is a center of more than five cement plants. It is the tour bowl of Hyderabad, Karnataka. Please come, let's visit a large and different variety of destinations of Gulbarga district. Tintani Tintani is located on the bank of Krishna river in Surpur Taluk. This is a place of communal harmony. Both Hindus and Muslim architectures are found here. This is a spiritual and secular place. Many devotees visit the destination every year. This is a unique destination. Bonal Bird Sanctuary Bonal Bird Sanctuary is located 10 kilometers from Surpur Taluk headquarter. Britishers noticed this bird sanctuary in the year 1884. They declared Bonal as a bird sanctuary. During November, December and January, thousands of birds fly to this sanctuary from countries like Australia, Argentina and Sri Lanka. Thousands of local birds also live here. This is a nature-based tourist destination of Hyderabad, Karnataka area. Narayanpura Dam Hyderabad, Karnataka's biggest dam at Narayanpura is known as Basava Sagara Dam. It is located in Surpur Taluk. This dam is constructed on the bank of River Krishna. This dam is a gift to Raichur and Gulbarga district. This dam has contributed immensely to the growth of agriculture through irrigation in this area. This dam divides Raichur and Gulbarga districts. Left end canal is used by Gulbarga district and right end by Raichur. Shirwala Shirwala is a giant architectural place located 20 kilometers from Shahapur Taluk headquarter. It is on the bank of river Bhima which is a tributary of Krishna. This village is having three important temples which are known for their architectural beauty similar to that of Halebidu of Hoysalas. There are monolith sanctums with full of architectural beauty. There is a well in the temple complex having sculpture the story of the great epics Ramayana and the Mahabharata on each layered constructed stones. Ghanagapur Ghanagapur is a divine destination located in Afzalpur Taluk of Gulbarga district. It is about 40 kilometers from Gulbarga city. This sacred place is located on the bank of the rivers Bhima and Amarja Sangam. Chief deity of this place is Dattatreya. It is a holy place of Narasimha Saraswati. His another name is Sri Padavallabha. Lakhs of devotees from all over India come to get grace of Dattatreya. Speciality of this holy place is Madhukari, means a divine begging. However rich the devotee may be, he has to beg food or some eatable from at least five houses which is treated as 
holy prasada of god dattatreya at 12 noon every day there is a special drum beat called chaugada during the time of aarti many people find salvation from black magic and other negative forces other places like sangama and bhasma hill can be seen here chanting of guru charitra at the avadumbara tree is a special feature here narona narona is said to be the place where lord rama was liberated from the sin of brahma hatya and took rest after killing ravana it's about 25 kilometers from alan taluk headquarter it's a sacred place where agastya rishi is believed to have made tapasya here there are seven holy lakes on the divine campus it is famous for greenery and shadow it is a popular picnic spot of the district too now we are in gulbarga city we are discussing about sharana basaveshwara temple this is the famous sharana basaveshwara temple located in the heart of the city this is very famous pilgrimage center of hyderabad karnataka this 18th century temple is dedicated to great social saint shri sharana basaveshwara who provided food